So we were looking at this thing, this syringe filled with liquid plastic. Now this liquid plastic won't dry because um, it's airtight, there's, there's no air getting to it, there's no air for the solvent to go, so it's going to stay in liquid until you actually get it out of the tube and lay it down somehow. But if we have to think about the um, way that this can be put into a 3D printer, then actually it's kind of really simple. Um, your 3D printer, your basic 3D printer is an XY table, so it moves in the XY plane, and either it moves up and down, which is a bit complicated, or very often you have the print head, and the print head moves in the Z, it moves up and down, so you get the whole coverage of the area. Now in filament printers, these are heated, uh, and you have your filament feeding into there, you force it through on the heat, and it deposits your ABS on your table, and that's basically how they work. Now with something like the liquid printer, what we do is remove the heating element and use um, syringes. Now a syringe can have a fine needle attached, and those needles can be really um, any kind of diameter. A diabetic insulin needle, for instance, is uh, very small, I can't remember what it is actually, but it's uh, less than a millimetre. Now that would be kind of ideal here because you put in a very small trace on, and because um, the uh, drying of this stuff is going to be related to the surface area, then the greater the surface area to volume ratio, the quicker it's going to dry. So a very small thin line is going to have a big surface to actually, uh, volume ratio area, and so it's going to dry very quickly. So that's something like that. So we throw away the heat head and we pop our syringe in there, and then a motor controlled pump to pump the um, fluid out of there as it moved and laid down the fluid bed. Now this actual basic machine you can buy from China for about 300 quid. It's all cast aluminium and it comes with all the motors and everything and comes with the heat head. It's only really lacking the control electronics. The control electronics will be just the same as your 3D um, filament printer. It's just that the control of the computer would be uh, much, would have needs some modification because the um, degree of resolution you're going to get on this is just so much greater than you can get on a 3D uh, filament printer. So you're going to get a much better resolution and a much better surface finish with this kind of thing. And all of the parts are actually uh, pretty much readily available. That is, you can buy this from China, you can buy this from the local drugstore. Um, it can be a bit funny in some countries about selling your needles, I suppose. I, I do know that the Americans will have trouble buying needles. But you could always drill very tiny holes into a, a, a plate of some kind and use a tiny hole plate then. I just thought that the um, syringe idea with the needles was just something that was out there that could be used. Now, um, that would make it really, really simple, obviously, because all you would do is get your syringe full of liquid plastic, snap it in, and it would squeeze down. There's going to be no waste, no mess, no cleanup, because you'd just be able to pull the thing out when you're done with it, throw it away, put it in a different colour, put it in a different kind, and you're off again. No need to clean your print head out, no need to clean out any gunk up there that's actually got stuck while you were printing. So it's much more convenient to use in those terms, and the resolution that you're going to get is much better. And the concept machine is actually not that different to what they're already doing with uh, 3D filament. So it wouldn't need that much changing. So I guess my next step really is to try it with ABS, try it with PLA, and I'm pretty confident I can do it with those two. Grab that thing that I was bubbling on about from China, build one, give it a go. But there's the concept machine that I'm thinking of. Anyway, um, if you have any feedback on that, like hints on what I should be looking at building a machine, because obviously I've done nothing with 3D printing, so I don't know that much about it. Um, the inks and plastics, I'm fine with. The actual mechanics of 3D printing, never done anything. So it's, it's like an adventure for me. And so if anybody wants to get back and give me a few hints on that, that'd be really cool and really well appreciated. Anyway, I hope you're finding this idea interesting, and um, thank you very much for watching.